Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Whether you are a French national or an international student who came here for studies, registration into the French social security system is mandatory and free for all. In this video, we will help you to understand how health insurance works, what you are entitled to, and the necessary procedures you must follow in order to receive almost complete healthcare coverage while you stay in France. So this video will be divided into five parts. In the first part, we are going to discuss about how will you declare your referring doctor. In the next part, we'll discuss the types of doctors which are categorized according to sectors. The next part is going to be about top up health insurance, which is also called Sante or Mutuel. The next part is going to discuss how will you get this reimbursement and the final part, which is the part five, will tell you how to fill the social security form online. So before getting into the video, let's discuss about how does health insurance or in French assurance maladie works in France. So French healthcare system allows the health insurance to cover the healthcare costs of insured people. It could cover risks associated to illness maternity and physical or mental illnesses as well. So in order to get benefited from this cover, you must carry out the procedure as soon as you land in France because recently one of our friend got sick and just for the basic medication and bandages, it cost them around 45 euros. So that's a lot and it's a huge number. So we would request you to carry out this process as soon as possible. So if you want to jump directly to the part where we show you how to fill up the social security form online, you could just go into the timestamps and jump to that section. So let's discuss from basics how you could get your health covered. So once you hold a provisional or definitive certificate, you should choose and declare a referring doctor, which in French is called médecin traitant by making an appointment with a general practitioner near you. Note. Your referring doctor can also be a specialist doctor. So in the case where you do not have a carte vitale while having first medical appointment with your referring doctor, you and your doctor will need to fill up a form, physical form, which is called statement of choice of a referring doctor. And you need to post it to Caisse Primaire de Chérance Maladie, CPAM, of your place of residence. Or if you already have your carte vitale, your referring doctor will register you online with assurance malady during your first appointment. Your appointed referring doctor is the first person you need to see in case of any medical issue. This is the person who will provide you with a medical prescription called ordonnance. With the help of this medical prescription, you'll be able to get medicine from the chemist or you will be able to carry out various tests in laboratory such as x-rays and etc. Referring doctor will also be able to refer you to other healthcare professionals such as gynecologists and dentists, etc. You can consult some specialist without even going to your referring doctor, but you need to check that with your referring doctor first. Keep in mind, these costs would not be reimbursed if you do not have this medical prescription called ordonnance, or if you do not declare your referring doctor, in that case also you will not going to be reimbursed. Let me give you a basic price breakdown on how much is it going to cost you to visit your referring doctor. So the cost of basic consultation with your referring doctor is going to cost you 25 euros, of which social security will repay you 16.5 euros. Complimentaire Sante or Mutuel will cover 7.5 euro of this cost. I will discuss about these topics later in this video. And you will have to pay 1 euro as a contribution. So in Hindi, we call it Shagun. Ek rupay ka shagun lagana padega aapko. So, will all doctors cost you the same? Let's discuss about that in this part where we talk about pricing systems for medical procedures. So the assurance malady sets a reference price and a level of repayment for every medical procedure. Thus, medical doctors are classified into two categories, which are sector one and sector two. But why are we telling you this? The specific sectors of doctors that you're going to consult for your healthcare services is going to have an impact on how much you are going to be repaid and how much you have to pay yourself. So the social security will pay you 70% of the reference fee, regardless of whether your doctor is contracted in sector one or sector two, whatever the fees for your consultation. 
Now let's talk about a scenario where you visit a Sector 1 doctor. This will be called Son Dépassement d'Honoraire and a Sector 1 doctor charges the rates which are set by French Social Security and does not apply or rarely applies surcharges except in special cases such as a consultation outside of open office hours or at patient's home. Or in another scenario where you visit a Sector 2 doctor, it will be called Dépassement d'Honoraire and a Sector 2 doc sets their rates freely and can thus apply surcharges. These surcharges vary from a couple euros to several hundred euros. Now let's talk about the third part which is about top-up health insurance or in French les complémentaires santé or mutuel. You need to take it to top up your repayments. Top-up insurance allows you to be reimbursed at a rate of close to 100%. So healthcare professionals surcharges are never covered by assurance malady but can be covered by a top up health insurance. Since assurance malady does not provide you repatriation to your country of origin, your santé must include repatriation option as well as the civil liability which in French is called la responsabilité civile which is mandatory in France to cover any damages that you could inflict on others. You could also customize your top-up insurances according to your own needs, such as if you want your insurance, your top-up insurance to be focused more towards mental illness or your dental health, you could make it possible through the help of top-up health insurances. Now let's move towards the next part. After understanding all the three important steps, you all might be having a question how the repayment system for the insurance works. So in this step, we are going to discuss more deeply about that. So the repayment system happens in several stages. If you don't have a card vitale or a provisional security number, you will have to pay the entire fee to your medical practitioner or a professional. They will provide you with the foyer de soi form that you must send by the post to the CPIM of your place of residence once it is signed and filled by you. Once CPIM receives the foyer de soi form, they will set off the repayment process. Once you have been reimbursed by the social security, you can send the breakdown of cost to your mutual in order to receive the additional payment. Thus, a top-up insurance is important to be repaid at a better rate. Now here comes the second case. If you are having a card vitale, the doctor may ask you to pay the entirely the healthcare cost or they might exempt you from paying the share of the cost covered by the assurance melade. The system is called Tayag Payu. In this case, you need to pay the additional part. You can access the breakdown of cost on your emily.fr account and send it to the mutual in order to be get repaid. That's it. You now know all about the French healthcare system. In case you need the sum of the emergency numbers in France, we would like to share some of the important numbers with you. That is SAMU ambulance number, that is 15. And for the Pompeius Fire Brigade, it is number 18. So keep that in mind. And now here we come with the most important part you all might be waiting for. That is how to apply for the social security. Before going into the process video of the social security, let's discuss about the documents required for the process. So in this, we are having some of the mandatory documents which include passport or your ID card. Second, the resident permit or the student visa and the third is the attestation the solitaire that is the registration certificate from your institution and the documents you might upload them later if you don't have at the moment that are your birth certificate translated with the apostille one second comes the iban number that is the international banking account number if you haven't opened the bank account yet or don't know how to open it we had made a particular video on that we will put the link in the description below of this video please go and check out that video and in the third document, if you are under the 16 years of age, you have to provide with the certificate of the parental authorization. And there might be some additional documents which can be requested by the authorities on your country of origin. So keep that in mind. So let's start with the process right now. As you can see on the screen, after clicking onto the link etudionetranger.emily.fr, here you have to provide with some of the basic information of yours. So basically your circumstances, your date of birth and your nationality. In circumstances, you have to select the student with no employment and the, your date of birth, we have taken a fictitious one and your nationality, in this we have entered the Indian. 
so after that you can click on continue you will be redirected to this page in this they are asking about what documents are required for the registration so for the documents we have already discussed in more detail just take a brief of that that first document is the proof of registration of your academic year second the proof of identity that is your passport third is your student visa and the second is the additional documents required to complete your social security registration in order to obtain the final entitlement certificate in this the vital records contain the birth certificate in which it has to be translated and apostilled by your authorities second the residency permit that is titraj sejor the ofi certificate the ofi video we have covered in the past if you haven't seen the video please go into the link we have provided in the description and do watch the video and get the certificate and get it uploaded into the social security third the official banking iban number international banking account number again we are going to say that that we have already provided with the link on the description go and check out that video and open your bank account moving further just click on the i am in position at least of the document necessary for obtaining my certificate of provisional rights and then click continue clicking on continue it will redirect you to the login page in this you have to provide with all your important information for example title in this we are going to take mr last name purohit jamuna wale your first name and then here comes the date of birth and the nationality which is already fetched by the information we have provided earlier after that moving on to the country of birth you have to provide your country in which you have been born so that's for us is india and the start date of your rights to health insurance after clicking on that you will get a prompt in this prompt you can see that you begin your studies at a french institution of a higher education and you have a certificate of completed registration at that school you have arrived in france the day you landed in france you have a residency permit or the other proof of legal residency in france clicking on i accept then you will select the dates after fulfilling all the three conditions you will put the date you have landed in france so in this case we are taking 5 9 2023 and after that you have to provide with the important informations of your mother and father name in this we are taking the father's last name as purohit dinanath father's first name rajendra mother's last name bhat and mother's first name alia so you might be noticing that vijay purohit is having a very famous family and moving further you will be providing with your address that you are living in france so in this you have to provide with your street address so just enter that address we are taking a fictitious one with the zip code and town for this we are taking 5100 and town is reims then you have to provide with your contact information in this you have to provide with your email address and your phone number so just keep in mind that you provide with the valid and the correct email address and cell phone number clicking on continue it will redirect you to the next page the upload your documents so the documents we discussed in this video you have to upload them just keep that in mind that you just convert them into the pdf format so it will be easy for you to upload them and easy for the authorities as well after uploading all your documents you will be getting a provisional social security number that you can use to avail all the healthcare services in france so this is the end of the video i hope we have cleared all your doubts and questions within the five steps of the how french healthcare system works and if you have any questions or query you can mention in the comment section below or mail us at the desi in france vlogs at the rate gmail.com we will be going to come with a cap video soon so till then take care bye bye